What is wrong with my boyfriend? <laughs> he came grocery shopping with me yesterday. We were supposed to go there for three things. <laughs> and instead he filled the whole cart with Reese's peanut butter cups, little Debbie's. Oh yeah, there's another one underneath this one. Uh-huh. And then he got a bunch of little mini cupcakes. This is the house that I live in. Blah. Hi guys, this is my week 16 update. Uh -huh. So, last time I was on here I said when I lost a hundred pounds that I would do a skin flick video, show you everything, but <laughs> I'm still going to do it. I just threw my back out again yesterday and that's why my, my update is a day late too. So I went to the chiropractor today, hopefully in the next day or two my back will feel okay and I can film that video. Um, so this is my 16 week post Ruin Y update. Um, I have lost 103 pounds total from my highest weight pre-surgery. That was 333. Um, since surgery, I have lost 51 pounds. Yeah, 51 pounds. Um, so yesterday was my actual weigh-in day. And I weighed 230.8 pounds. That's crazy to me. Um, so, let's see what's been going on. Besides throwing my back out again, that's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping that after surgery, after losing lots of weight, that it would help my back situation. But this is like twice in one month that I've thrown my back out. And it was pretty bad. Um... But the whole losing over 100 pounds, that just seems insane to me. Yeah. Um, so I actually took a video earlier today. It was crazy. Like, I put on my work smock or whatever, and I noticed it was really big at the end of the day. My boss was like, oh my goodness, your shirt is huge on you. So, yeah, I'll insert that video somewhere in here and show you. Hi guys! Okay, huge NSP. This is my work smock. Let's see if you can see it. Well, anyway, um, when I started it was, I needed a 3X, but they didn't have any, so they ordered me a 2X. So when I got this, the bottom button was like pulled tight like that. And now, this thing, sorry you can't see very good, is so huge. I can roll it up several, several times. I can't believe this used to be tight on me. Can't believe it. My boss today was like, oh my gosh, your shirt is huge on you. So that was cool. I had to exchange um, and get some new shirts from work and like another size smaller. So yay. Um, it's just crazy. Like. That shirt was tight on me when I first started, and now it's so baggy, so, so baggy. So I had to switch it out for smaller shirts. Um, my butt is still pretty big. Um, I'm still, I'm in an 18 still. I think soon I'll be in a 16 for pants, but my top half is so much smaller, it's crazy. Um, but I have not been able to work out uh, really, I do walking, but I haven't been able to, like, hardcore hit the gym, um, with my back and whatever, but, um, probably, like, two months ago, well, I don't remember exactly when, like, I slipped at the bottom of my stairs, and I think I remember telling you guys this, but I hurt my knee, and it's been bugging me and bugging me, and I kept thinking, it will get better, you don't need to go to the doctor for another thing. And it has not been getting better. It's just been getting worse and worse. And at the end of the day, it hurts so bad. Like, I can't put any pressure on it. I can barely, like, walk up my stairs. And so I finally made a stupid appointment with the orthopedic doctor. And the soonest that they can get me in is not this coming Monday, but the one after that. So I guess if it's still crappy, it'll still be crappy then too. But that's how that's going. But I've had a lot of NSVs, like, I feel like I've had three or four in the past week. The... Ooh! I actually, okay, I was sitting at the edge of my bathtub, 
and like my legs were together and there was a tiny little bit of a gap in between them and I know that my little chunker lunker thighs were like kind of <laughs> they weren't all squished they were like hanging down so naturally I do not have a thigh gap but in the moment I had a tiny little thigh gap and I'll try to put a picture in but I was like I don't even remember having a thigh gap even when I was thinner before but maybe it wasn't that big of a thing then but eh, it was kind of cool Um, and then the shirt NSV, and I swear there's another one that I'm not thinking of. Oh, okay, so last year in my winter coat, um, this is so embarrassing, I could not, like, get my seatbelt buckled in my winter coat. And I mean, I live in Minnesota, it's really freaking cold, and you can't just get by with a little thin coat, it has to be like a beefy one. <clears throat> but it was like a big long wool coat so I mean it wasn't as thick and poofy as some of them but I was struggling and struggling and struggling if I was wearing my winter coat I could not get the seatbelt buckled and I was like that is the most embarrassing thing ever and like <clears throat> the other day I uh, I was in my winter coat a new winter coat. I could totally buckle and it felt like, ah, I could breathe, like, I'm shrinking, I'm getting to be like almost a normal size. <gasps> Which brings me to, okay, the coolest NSV. I had taken last Friday off work and went thrift shopping with my sister. She had the day off. Um, and we were at, I don't even remember what thrift store it was. Um, doesn't matter. But I saw the cutest boots ever and I tried them on and I zipped them up and they were not wide calf boots. Oh, I was so excited. They were normal people boots, like normal. And while I probably don't fit into all of the normal boots, like I was just shocked that they zipped up and I was so in love and I bought them and I have a pair of like real cute boots that zip up that are like, that are normal. That it's so weird. I just want to be like normal. I don't even care if I'm like skinny skinny, but being normal sizes, like it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know. So it's been a good week. Like I lost, I think like four, three and a half, four, somewhere in there pounds. I don't keep track of all the point whatever. I just, eh, close enough. Half pound, pound, whatever. As long as I keep seeing the number go down, I'm very excited. And I'm so close. Okay. <laughs> I keep, like, getting off track slightly. So, it was my goal from surgery until the end of October to lose 50 pounds. I still have a couple days left in October, and I have lost 51 pounds. I'm so excited that I hit that goal. And my next goal is to be... I don't know if I'll hit this one, but I will try. My goal is to be in Wonderland by the first of the year. So I have 30 pounds to lose between now and January 1st. Hopefully I can do it. And hopefully I can get my knee figured out and my back cooperates so I can go to the gym and start working my butt off. I mean, I do walk a lot, especially at work. Like, I work in a giant, giant a uh, factory and I have to walk down to my cafeteria and walk back and I'm running around all day long so usually by the time I leave work it's like 8,000 steps just from work um so yeah anyway I think I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys so hopefully in the next couple days as soon as my back is feeling better I'll make like a a bikini video show you what I'm looking like show you like which spots I have extra skin and how my scars are looking and just what a hundred and three pound weight loss has looked like on me but yeah I'm super excited like now that I'm getting to like the smaller numbers I'm getting so close to just being 200 pounds getting close to the 190s that would be wonderful but I still have a little ways to go but it, it seems like attainable that I could be in Wonderland in a few months. That could be really, really cool. I will be so excited. So excited. But yeah, it's been a 
pretty good week. I want to say good, except for my back and my knee. Besides that, it's been good. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you're all doing really good. Uh, subscribe. Hit like if you like the video. But you guys are amazing. I love hearing from you. Talk to you later. Bye.